until the Ajuran tribe, the Ajuran community are included in the government. I believe a commendable job done by this government is not fully implemented. I from Wajia North is not part of this government. We need to be at least accommodated in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, Mr. Speaker. Otherwise, in, as, in so far as the value of inclusion is concerned, the Honorable Ibrahim Sene, followed by the Honorable Paul Diego of Chesumei and uh, Alice Nganga of Tika. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, if you look at the language and the tone of the presidential address, you realize that it paints uh, a government that is painstakingly defusing itself from a dark past, a past of poor economic, mismanage, uh, poor economic management, to one that may offer respite to that poor economy so that it can fulfill its promises, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I am keenly uh, attached to the President's address on corruption. If we deal with corruption and slain that devil, all other things will fall into place. What I expect to see from the Kenya Kwanzaa government is a firm decision, action on dealing with corruption, uh, corruption decisively, Mr. Speaker. If I may cherry pick uh, some few things on, on the address. Mr. Speaker, food security and by, by extension the cost of living has been a concern to Kenyans. We know the past bad economy, the post-COVID impact, and the drought that has lasted for over four years, or nearly four years, have entirely impacted on the economic status and thereby affecting our food security. However, the government had taken bold initiatives by providing subsidies on fertilizer and at least making sure that some of the machines required tractors are zero rated in terms of tax. But we need to move further. We know that planting seeds are very expensive in this country, Mr. Speaker. Tractor doesn't do anything by itself. It requires farm implement. Planters, harrows, and plows are all vulnerable, Mr. Speaker, as we speak. Kenya can only be food secure if we highly subsidize the food sector, the agricultural sector, Mr. Speaker. Uh, so we need to do much more in as much as I appreciate the Kenya Kwanzaa's initiative towards attaining food security. More needs to be done in the same sector, Mr. Speaker. On CBC, uh, well, this is an issue that was inherited, fr inherited from the past regime. We know it is expensive. It would have been done, implemented in piecemeal and in a phased way. However, the objective of CBC is welcome for this nation. But one thing, Mr. Speaker, in as much as we equally appreciate the number of teachers, over 50,000 teachers were recruited by TSC. I know there has been some arguments about the status of recruitment or employment. Some saying it is by contract, others saying that few are on permanent and pensionable basis. That is not here neither there, Mr. Speaker. Unemployment by whichever means is unemployment, and I do congratulate the government for employing over 50,000 teachers. After all, all we needed is employment and teachers for our students in every part of the country. Uh, Mr. Speaker, one thing I though disagree is the capitation for every student in, this part, in, in, in the country. Wajia North and Adap doesn't have the same environment for every student, for every learner like in Nairobi. I can't understand why capitalization has been equalized 
when really we are an equal in all aspects of life. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on universal health care, it is a move in the right direction. Inclusion, until the Ajuran tribe, the Ajuran community are included in the government, I believe a commendable job done by this government is not fully implemented. I, from Wajia North, is not part of this government. We need to be at least accommodated in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, Mr. Speaker. Otherwise, in, as, in so far as the value of inclusion is concerned,